Yeah, it was just, I mean, that I thought we just, you, know, you play against such a well-coached team, a tough team. I mean, that team is so good defensively. I thought the most critical part of the game is when they turned us over that period in the second half. I don't know if it was five out of six, five out of seven. And we just got like, you know, we call them kills, you know, three stops in a row. We got it twice just to kind of keep it right there. And down the stretch, we just made some, some really good winning plays. Our zone was terrific. Uh, everybody in that 1-3-1 was so active. Uh, Devontae really made some great finishes at the end. Romello White was big. Just, just a whole group. I'm just so happy for our players uh, to taste that kind of win uh, against a top 10 team in the country. Ben starts off. Carlos, you kind of touched on it right there. Uh, you said that you got to win this way, that this is just how it's built, and then the whole the team like Tennessee that no field goals for, I think, over 12 minutes. And then to get that win, how much of a lift was it when you walked into the locker room? Yeah, they were just so excited. I mean, they were. And, and just, you know, we've had some, some, some games we didn't close out. And all we talked to Devontae about the last couple of days and down the stretch here was just, you know, winning time and closing games. And I thought he led like a, a really great experienced guard in our league. And uh, but it was just defensively. And then, you know, we made some timely free throws. Romello did. And even some of the – we ran good offense at the end, got balls right where we wanted, didn't finish a couple of them. Uh, but then at the end, we wanted to get it out of Vescovi's hands. And, you know, they did a great job, you know, through it. And uh, so it was great to, to see that ball miss and, and get the win. Nick, go ahead. Kermit, I think you guys outscored him by 20 in the paint tonight. Just what allowed you guys to kind of reestablish that physicality down low? Yeah, you know, I don't think that, that we settled. You know, I, we were determined to get the ball to Romella. And, and I thought he did a really good job of wanting the ball. I thought we delivered the ball to him. And, uh, you know, he was real physical. And I just thought he played with his shoulder and his, his head right at the rim. And, uh, but we, we thought that was going to be the critical part of the game is just his paint touches. And we thought hopefully our zone was going to maybe limit some paint touches for them, you know, and make them try to make, you know, perimeter shots because they're so good at, at running crisp offense and get, get paint touches. Go to Courtney. Courtney, I think you're still muted. Go ahead. All right, well, Parrish, go ahead. Hey, Kermit, you talked yesterday about maybe using uh, Hadeem and Romello on the floor at the same time. It, it looked like that worked pretty well for you. What did you think? No doubt, Parrish. I, I thought we, we've worked a lot the last two days, brought them in some individual things, tried to put a small package in for them, and we're going to start getting that bigger. You know, for both those guys, I thought they're really active in that. We just kind of went two, three zone. We didn't go any 13 with both those guys in, and we're capable of doing that and put Romello at the top. Uh, but I thought they were very active, and they really enjoy playing with each other. They have fun with it in practice. And uh, so I, I thought, you know, with KJ's absence, you know, Romello even got in some foul trouble. I thought both those guys did a great job together. We'll try to go back to Courtney. Yeah, sorry, it froze on me for a second. Uh, Coach, did you feel like this was the most together that your team has played in the last couple of weeks? Yeah, you know, you, I think our team has been together, but down the stretch, Courtney, that's the best we've played and held tough. I mean, you just – that team right there is so well coached. They're so tough. They're used to winning those kind of games, a lot of experience, and then some great freshmen. And uh, so you're right, you have to hold tough together. I even thought the guys on the bench that didn't play the amount of minutes, their enthusiasm was terrific. Our assistant coaches did a great job. And, yeah, that whole togetherness right there was a big key. Uh, if I can just ask a quick follow-up question. I know I asked you the other day about kind of winning these kinds of games and holding Tennessee to one of the lower scoring games that you guys have played. But how sustainable do you feel like that is for your team to keep relying on getting wins this way? Yeah, you know, it's just – it's college basketball, and you know we just you got to have your identity. And uh, and the games that we've won in our league, we won them like this. I I, I really think that I think offensively we're, we're going to improve. Uh, you know we're going to give our guys confidence to keep shooting balls. And I thought you know Tennessee just makes it tough on on every shot. I mean it really is. If you got a good shot, you better take it. And uh, but but it it's just our identity. We we got to be a defensive team first. Play in transition. I thought our Defense created offense that we created, and Devontae made some great plays, you know, in transition. So we're still going to play fast in the break now and try to get easy baskets. Go back, go back to Ben. It's cliche, Kermit, but what kind of boost with eight games left? I mean, this is this home stretch here, but what kind of boost can that provide? Yeah, we, I mean, we, we needed it. I mean, we just, we just needed a win like this, Ben. 
I mean, those guys have. They've, they've, they've had some disappointments. And, uh, but, again, we came in on, on Sunday, and we weren't real physical, but we did a lot of individual, and we did perimeter meetings, big meetings, some individual meetings, really just watch the second half, try to really stay positive with our team, you know, and get them prepared. And I thought we had a good plan. Our guys believed in it. And, uh, yeah, it was just everybody this time of year, I mean, just needed something to, to hang your hat on. And to be the top ten team, uh, that's just got to give our team a lot of confidence. Any more questions for Coach? All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. God bless.